The story of the jumping man. Once there was a young mouse who lived in the brush near the great river during the day. He and other mice hunting for food at night they gather to hear the old ones tell stories. The young mouse liked to hear about the leather beyond the river and he got shivers from the story but about the different shadows that lived in the sky. But his very one was the tale of the far of life. The far far away sun is so wonderful. The young ones began to dream about it. He knew he would never be content until he had been there. The old ones warned the journey would be long. He privately, but he young mouse would not be sad. He said on the morning before the sun raised. It was even before he reached the edge of the brush. Before him was a river. On the other side was a desert. The young mouse peeped into the deep water. How will he ever get across? Don't you know how to swim? Called the great three boys. The young mouse looked around him and saw a small green frog. Hello, he said, what's the swim? This is swimming, he said, frog. And he jumped into the river. Oh, said the young mouse. I don't think I can do that. Why don't you need to across the river? Asked the frog, hopping back to the bank. I want to go far, far out the land, said the young mouse. I, it sounds too beautiful to live in the time to see. Magic frog laughed. That's not a name. I'll give you a name that will help you in your journey. I named you Jumping Mouse as soon as Magic Frog said this. The young mouse felt a strange tickling uh, in his hind legs. He hopped and small hopped and he surprised him twice as high as head ever jumped before. Thank you, he said admiring his powerful legs and new legs. You're welcome, said Magic Rock. Now step into the sleep and walk across the river together when they were safely on the other side. Magic Rock said, you will encounter a hard ship on your way, but don't disappear. You will reach the far of land if you can hop alive with deep meat. Inside of his reflection, he was only as fat as the old mouse. It's time for me to go through. Jumping mouse didn't come all the way to settle down under a berry bush. Just then, he noticed that a branch had this cut and then caught in the inner of the street. It spinned like water, like a bridge. Now the snake could cross jumping mouse. Hurry back to warn that fat mouse, but the mouse was empty and there was a strange smell in the air. Snake jumping mouse was too late. Poor old friend, he thought as he hurried away, he lost hope of, of finding his dream. Now his life is over. Jumping man was sad to see, so water has been so helpful. 
plus. When he began my journey, he said, Magic Frog gave me a name and strong legs to carry me to the far off land. My magic is not as powerful as hers, but I'll do what I can do to help you. I name you Eyes of a Mouse. As soon as he had spoken, Jumping Mouse heard the basin snores with joy. He heard, but he could no longer see, for he had given the bison his own sight. The next morning, Jumping Mouse woke up to call from his home. I'm here, she said. I feel the earth beneath my claws. I hear the wind rustling the leaves on the tree. The sun and I burn. All is not lost, but I may be as I want. I will, I ever manage. The jumpy mouse began to cry. Jumpy mouse, he heard a grumpy voice say, Magic Paul, is that you, jumpy mouse? Asked Gormy, swallowing his teeth. You have nothing to fear, Jumping Mouse. Jump high. Jumping Mouse commanded Magic Frog. Jumping Mouse did as he was told and jumping as high as he could. Then he felt air floating him higher so into the sky. He stretched out his paws in the south. He felt strangely powerful. To his joy, he began to see wonderful, beautiful of the wonderful above he below, and to smell the scent of earth and sky and living things. Jumping mouse, he heard a magic rock call. I give you a new name. You are not called eagle, and you will live in the far of land forever.